and welcome to another Top of the Table and Highlights of Week 6 of the 2011-12 season of the North Norfolk Table Tennis League. It's the fourth week of league games and a bumper show today with highlights of three different league matches. Later we're at Hunworth to see how John Hancock's getting on in his bid to overtake the record of the most consecutive singles victories in the league. Plus we'll see how Hunworth poachers fare when they travel to North Horsham to face the E-team. But we start at the Sports Centre with the match between North Walsham Sea and Goblins. For North Walsham it's Chris Johnson, Phil Mel, Joe Kirkup. For Goblins, Peter Ward, John Miller and John Kerr. We're going to start with the game between Chris Johnson and League President Peter Ward. Ward took the first set 11-4. We join it at the start of the second set. <laughs> Yes, sir. 
was back in his stride and took the full set and the win 11-7. On with highlights of our next game between Phil Mole and John Miller. The Goblin took the first set 11-8 with a drop shot serve, however Mole took the next two sets. We're going to pick up the action in the fourth set, Miller leading and serving 4-1.
let's take a detailed look at the scorecard for that North Horsham Sea Goblins match. We've just seen Phil Moe defeat John Miller there. Chris Johnson also defeated Miller in straight sets. However, they were the only two points the hosts took. Joe Kirkup did well to take a set from Miller. Pushed John Kerr really hard in the first set. Kerr winning 16-14. Kirkup falling somewhat away after that. Goblins, rest of the match, more or less in control. Couple of sets dropped here and there. But comfortable 8-2 winners. On the adjoining table, North Warsham Sports Centre E were hosting the Poachers. We're going to look at the match between Bev Bordock Yaxley and Alan Rutledge. Bordock Yaxley took the first two sets, 11-8, 11-9. We're going to join the action in the third set. Bordock Yaxley serving, it's one point apiece. <laughs> the poacher fighting back and it's Rutledge serving as we rejoin the match in the fourth set, 5-0. Thank you. 
Excellent win for Border Gaxley in four sets against Rutledge there. Here's the scorecard for the rest of the match and as you can see Poacher is more or less in control winning 9-1. Take a look at the fourth match down though. In the fourth set Barry Evans had four match points but Border Gaxley saved them took his fifth set point to take the set to 2018. However Evans hung on took his sixth chance to close out in the fifth set. So poachers continuing their good start to the season in the second division. Back to the top flight for our final match this week and we're at Hunworth for Outlaws Conan Humphreys, John Hancock and Steve Patterson against North Ocean D's, Mary Sawyer, Paul Price and Philip Stone. In the opening match of the night Humphreys looked to be in control against Sawyer leading by two sets and 7-3. But Sawyer fought back, we're going to pick this up in a decider, Humphreys serving, love read down. win 
for Sawyer from two sets down. Later in the night, Steve Patterson fought back from two sets down against Philip Stone. We're going to join this one in a decider. Stone serving 1-5 down. Can the outlaw complete his comeback? <laughs> Here's some stats for you. Back in 2006, our current North Norfolk champion, John Paul, suffered a rare defeat. That was to Phil Clark, who was playing for North Horsham A. However, no one could have predicted that Paul would then go on a staggering run of over a century of straight wins. This run doesn't count doubles matches, obviously, neither are handicap matches included, but it does count matches in the league, so normally three singles at a time, matches in the singles cup, and matches at the championships, both in the open singles and the veterans. Paul's run was ended on the 14th of December 2008 by a certain John Hancock. Hancock hasn't been defeated in the league this century. He made his debut for the Honeybale team, playing at the Honeybale pub in Hunworth, which a year later became the Outlaws we know and love now. So Hancock started his run in October 2007, a few years where he hasn't played so much, but he's coming into the match we're watching at the moment on 133 wins, just 10 behind the record of John Paul. So can he get closer to that record? Well, we're going to have a look at his game against Mary Sawyer. Hancock took the first set 11-6. We're going to join the action at the start of the second. Thank you. 
andate So the record draws ever closer. Let's take a look at detailed results of the Outlaws North Walsham D match. Starting at the top, the match we saw earlier, Mary Sawyer coming back from two down against Colin Humphreys. Hancock winning all his three singles in straight sets, so that takes him to 136 straight victories, seven behind that one full three of John Paul. Steve Patterson coming back from two sets down against Philip Stone, we saw that as well. The rest of the singles all won in straight sets by the Outlaws. Stone and Price gave Hancock and Humphreys a bit of a scare in the doubles, forcing a decider from two down, but the Outlaws hung on to take the fifth set 11-6 and wrap up the match win 9-1. Well that's just about it for the highlights this week, let's just take a check on the week's results. Outlaws 9-1 win we've just seen, also in the first division, specials 7-3 fixtures against North Walsham B, North Walsham A, comfortable 9-1 winners against Sharks. In the second division, Barracudas winning 7-3 away to Gresham School, and the two games we saw earlier, Goblins and Poachers winners against the C and E North Walsham teams. Next time, a chance to see North Norfolk champion John Paul in action, plus highlights of the derby between the top two North Walsham teams, so we'll see you then. Bye for now. For all the latest results, news, stats, match reports and previews, check out the league's brand new website www.nntl.org.uk